with Mr. Lumada. He will be starting soon. Oh, story time with Mr. Lumada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, it brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be here in story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada, where all your dreams come true. Oh, he brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. You won't just start all the reading. I just can't wait to be here. Time. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Wednesday to you all. Monday was off, so I have to remember today is Wednesday. Wednesday, but it feels like a Tuesday to me. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in Story Time today. Glad we're here together. I hope that you are well. Glad to see you here with us on Story Time Live. Thank you for being here. And of course, if you're joining us later on for the recordings, well, thank you for being here with us on Story Time. And I hope that you enjoy the story that we have lined up for you today. And of course, too, I hope that you've been enjoying everything else that we've had um, this week. And of course, everything that we've had in the past as well. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Story Time. We kicked off the week with um, things to do. One of my favorite here on Story Time, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that uh, it definitely um, allowed you a space to just take care of yourself, a space to slow down if you're able, and just you know, um, yeah, just reflect, take some time, and um, yeah, just take in the world around you. And um, yeah, my favorite page and uh, my favorite spread is definitely the snail. Slowly, slowly, like a snail, you know, the wonders of your world are small. Um, don't, 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 don't fly by. Don't zoom by. Just enjoy them. Enjoy them. At least I hope that you have the opportunity to do that. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time today. We're back. And um, we have a brand new book to story time today that we'll be sharing. This one has not been here yet, so I'm excited for that one. And I'm excited to introduce it to you. And um, hopefully you can see me because it's Invisible Things today. <laughs> Andy J. Pizza and Sophie Miller bringing us this one today. And of course, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. A big thank you to you, Chronicle Books, for allowing us to share so many wonderful books here on Storytime. Melissa Manlove, Ariel Richardson, Victoria Rock, um, Caitlin Elk, thank you so much for joining in and absolutely appreciate you. And my alarm is going off, reminding me that we need to be here on Storytime together. Thank you so much for joining in today. And of course, yes, indeed, the team at Chronicle Books, thank you. Thank you for everything that you do and continuing to support uh, Storytime right here. Thank you for joining in. And um, yeah, where are you from today? Where are you joining in from? And how is it where you are? Out here in Oakland, we've had a little bit of Drizzles just tiny bit yesterday, um, really, really minor. And then um, it's been very mild as well. Like yesterday, I wore two sweaterish things, you know, a light hoodie here, a light jacket there, but they were needed for sure. So if you're out and about here, please check the weather. Well, wherever you are, really check the weather before you go out so you know that you are, um, you are well covered. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Glad we're here together. Let us see who is with us this morning, ready to enjoy the wonderful stories. Well, good morning to you, Kathy. Thank you so much for joining in. Harry and Megan, thank you so much for joining in Storytime as well. I know you're 
joining us later, but thank you for being here with us on Storytime. And I hope that you enjoy this wonderful book that we have here today. To everybody that is joining in later as well, well, thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Thank you for supporting Storytime. And uh, please, yeah, remember to continue telling your friends about Storytime so they can come in and join and enjoy the story too and be part of this wonderful community. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. Please get comfortable, get cozy, get ready as we'll be starting our story very shortly. And this one is called Invisible Things, written by Andy J. Pizza and Safi Miller. And of course, we're reading it with permission of the publishers, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Here we go. Get ready. We'll be right back after this short break. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. And I'll catch you on the other side of this message. Thank you indeed for being here with us. <laughs> Hi, friends. My name is Christy, and I am the author of A Heart in the Sand, also known as Un Corazón en la Arena. Now, this bilingual book is about tesoros, or treasures. And something that I treasure is my friendship with Mr. Lamada. So I have a challenge for you. Share this story time with someone who you treasure, and we can all spread the literary love. Yes, the literally love. Thank you so much, Chrissy Deprin. And if you have not read A uh, Heart in the Sand, please do so. We've covered it here on Storytime. We've uh, featured it here on Storytime. So please check out our archives, A Heart in the Sand, Christy Deprin. And of course, um, check it out at your local library indeed or wherever else that you get books. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. We're here today to read Invisible Things. I'm glad we can see this book though. <laughs> Andy J. Pizza and Sophie Miller. Yes, um, so much about this book that I want to share, but we'll talk about it after, after the reading. Here we go. Oh, there's something we have to do before we, we get started. Pick up your invisible thing, spotting glasses here. <gasps> oh, yes. Let me pick up my pen. How does that look on me? Yeah. I think those glasses look great. Can you see them? Yeah. Don't forget to pick up yours too. Yeah, it says wear me, so why not? <laughs> All right, now that we have our pairs of glasses we have situated, here we go. Invisible Things, written by Andy J. Pizza and illustrations by Sophie Miller. And we're reading this one with permission of the publishers, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. <laughs> Welcome, readers. I bet you've read books about all kinds of things. I bet you've seen mice, bears, caterpillars, peaches, fish, pigs, trees, the moon monsters, and even pizza in books. Yeah, you've seen it all. You probably feel like you've seen it all, right? That's a lot of things to see, a lot of things to read about. I feel like I've seen it all. How about you? <laughs> but no, you haven't. It was a trick question. You can't possibly have seen it all because some things cannot be seen. Really? Like what? Some things are invisible things. But don't worry. In this book, you get to see the invisible because there is more to life than meets the eye. It is true. There is more to life than meets the eye. But will we see? What will we see in this book? What are the invisible things we're going to see? Ooh, what do you think those are? Well, let's find out. Where do we even begin? That's a great question. Well, let's start with our senses. Ooh, yeah. Touch, hearing. Taste, smell, sight, or see 
Yeah. There are lots of ways we can experience and interact with the world using parts of our bodies. Yeah. Think of ways that you interact with the world using your hands, using your nose, sense of smell, using your tongue, sense of taste. And we know there are animals that taste with different parts of their body. And I, I remember reading somewhere that butterflies taste with their feet. So yeah, senses. There are lots of ways we can experience and interact with the world, using parts of our bodies. Like our ears, you may have met some invisible things with your sense of hearing. A dog bark. Hmm? Yeah, I've heard that one before too. A cock a doo doo. Do you have a rooster in your neighborhood? Do you hear it in the morning? Maybe you have a rooster at home. <laughs> a whisper. Can you hear that? That's a different way of interacting with the world. Hello. It's story time. <laughs> a song stuck in your head. Right? Is it the story time theme song, maybe? <laughs> what do you think this sounds could be? Look at that. What could those be? Yeah. Like our ears, you may have met some invisible things with your sense of hearing. Yeah. Lots of different things. A dog barking. We can't see a bark, but we know it. We know it's there. A cock a doo doo! Yeah. A rooster in the morning. A song stuck in your head. <laughs> what do you think these sounds could be? What are these? If you could see those sounds, what would they look like? <laughs> oh. I love this. I love thinking about that. Can you hear anything? Can you hear anything? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Seems like we have an echo here. Echoes are cheeky. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry about my alarm going off twice now. Seems like we have an echo in here. Echoes are cheeky copycats. They repeat everything you say. You've probably heard an echo somewhere before, but now look, you've seen one. <gasps> Is that what an echo looks like to you? <laughs> That's the artist's rendition here. <laughs> what do you think an echo looks like? Can you hear anything? Can you hear anything? 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 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 Who's there? Who's there? There. 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 <laughs> Here are some other places to try to spot echoes. Yeah, try it out. If you're ever near these spaces, try it out. Under bridges, mm. gymnasiums, mountains, galleries, places of worship, garages, caves. Oh, caves, I've definitely tried those. Tunnels, yep, little siblings. <laughs> Do you have a little sibling? Do they echo everything that you do? Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Mom. Mom. <laughs> I'm a little sibling, so I totally get this one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's fun to do everything your, big, your older sibling does. Quick. Find an invisible peg for your nose. What is it? What is it? Smells are invisible things too. Yeah. Smells are invisible things too. Ooh, yes. Cover your nose. <laughs> you don't even want to know what this invisible thing is. It stinks. Yeah. It smells. Ooh. <laughs> 
sorry to take you there, but what are some of the worst smells you've 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 experienced? <laughs> some are so pungent they make you gag, isn't it? What do you think these smells are? What could they be? What smells look like that? Oh, you think what smells could those be? <laughs> yeah. Don't unplug your nose yet. <laughs> okay, I think it's safe now. We're past the smells. <laughs> we can taste invisible things with our tongues. A lollipop looks kind of boring, but it tastes like rainbow magic. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> and broccoli looks so cute, but it doesn't taste cute. It tastes uh, like feet. <laughs> Invisible things cannot be seen, but maybe you felt some of them with your sense of touch. The coziness of a blanket, a good t-shirt, or oh, that stuffed animal, something that calms you maybe. Yeah, invisible things cannot be seen, but maybe you felt some of them with your sense of touch. The coziness, a chill, a little wind blowing. Yeah, maybe something that makes you put on just an extra layer of jacket. Our sense of touch is important. Yeah, right? Sometimes all you need is just that arm on your shoulder from a loved one to encourage you. Yeah. Did you know that hugging a friend or petting your pet can actually make you feel better inside and out? Yeah, go on, try it today. <laughs> yeah, invisible things cannot be seen, but maybe you felt some of them with your sense of touch, with the coziness of something. Oh, maybe a chill. Our sense of touch is important. Did you know that hugging a friend or petting your pet can actually make you feel better inside and out? <laughs> Yeah, sending you lots of hugs from story time here. Now, try closing your eyes. Take a breath and count to 10 in your head. I'll say that one more time so you can go ahead and close your eyes. Unfortunately, I can't close them with you because I'm still reading the book. <laughs> Let's try this. Now, close your eyes. Take a deep breath. and count to 10 in your head. What invisible things do you notice right now using your other senses? What can you hear, smell, taste, or feel in this moment? Keep your eyes closed just a little bit longer. What invisible things do you notice right now? What can you hear, smell, taste, or feel in this moment? Yeah. Take another deep breath. Hold it. It may take a minute or two to notice invisible things. Sometimes you have to be patient. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> I love that page. You feel some invisible things on the inside. These feelings can come one at a time or in a big, confusing jumble. Yeah, we've all experienced that, haven't we? all kinds of emotions, all kinds of feelings, all at once or one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you feel some invisible things on the inside. These feelings can come one at a time or in a big, confusing jumble.
We all welcome happy feelings, joy, love, hope, gratitude, well-being. Oh, yes, we do. But sometimes we might feel other feelings or be in a particular kind of mood, big mood. If your mood today were a color, what color would it be? If your mood today were a color, what color would it be? Yeah. I hear you. We all welcome the happy feelings, right? Love, joy, hope, gratitude, the well-being. <laughs> but sometimes we might feel other feelings or be in a particular kind of mood. Big mood. If your mood today were a color, what color would it be? something to think about. <laughs> Sometimes you can feel the mood of a place. The mood of a place is called a vibe. Yeah. Rowdy vibes, woody, woodsy vibes, big city vibes, creepy vibes, beachy vibes, sleepy vibes, <laughs> happy-go-lucky vibes, vibey vibes. Oh, maybe grimy vibes. <laughs> yes. Can you find all nine? Where can you find them? This one's right here. Can you locate them in here? And if you're watching later, you can pause the video so you can try and find them on the picture with the bus. See if you can find all those, all the nine different vibes that we have on this page. Try to locate them here. Yeah. <laughs> Happy searching. <clears throat> Sometimes you just can't decide if something makes you feel good or bad. These things are cool and kind of strange. Yeah, lost in a book. Oh, <laughs> that is one of my favorites. Heebie-jeebies, ooh, yeah, it's Halloween after all, it's close. Yeah, heebie-jeebies, <laughs> Spirit, uh, spooky. The feels, nostalgia, deja vu, oh yeah. An itch, ooh. a dream, chaos, a lost thing, weirdness. Sometimes you just can't decide if something makes you feel good or bad. These things are cool and kind of strange. Yeah. For example, heebie-jeebies, well, they scurry around in dark places, making you feel uneasy. They may seem like bad vibes, but don't be afraid. They're actually pretty cute. Oh. <laughs> I'll try and think of them, I think. <laughs> it's not the easiest, but I will try. I hope that page didn't scare you. If you felt scared, that's okay. Fear can be a difficult thing, but it can also be a helpful thing. It reminds you to be careful. There's fear right there. But when fear stands in the way of things that could be good for you, like going to the dentist or raising your hand in class, that's when you also need guts. Oh, yes. Guts, grit, moxie, boldness, bit of fight, backbone, gumption, courage. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes fear gets in the way of things. We need something else then. Guts, grit. Gumption is one of my favorite words for that. Courage, backbone, bit of fight, boldness, yeah, moxie. <laughs> Which one will you embody today? <laughs> you know those days when you just feel sad? You might have the blues hanging around. You cannot see them, but you can feel them. Oh, yeah, I absolutely know. 
Sometimes you can shake them off. Yeah, I think yesterday was that kind of day for me. But other times you just need to sit with them. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Been there for sure. How curious that a sad song can make us feel happy. <laughs> this is the work of melancholy. Sometimes a rainy day is just what we need. And lying around feels just fine to me. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Like all the other pages, but this one really speaks to me too. <laughs> I think so far it speaks the most. Yes. How curious that a sad song can make us feel. <laughs> Here's a trick though. When you're sick of feeling yours, when you're sick of feeling down, I have a nifty trick. Try some fake laughs. They might just turn into real giggles. Read along. Let's try it. <laughs> try it. <laughs> it worked for me for sure. <laughs> Warning. Giggles multiply fast. <laughs> but turn the page quickly before things get out of hand. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Oops, too late. <laughs> yep, nope, too late. They're here already. <laughs> so try it next time. Try those fake laughs and see oh, where they go, how fast they multiply. Well, the now. Wow, that was a lot of giggles and a lot of different feelings. That's okay. Feelings help us understand ourselves and others. Noticing and sharing our feelings with others can help us feel a bit better. Yeah. So pause, close your eyes, take a deep breath and ask yourself, what am I feeling today? Remember, it may take a minute for you to notice all the invisible things inside you. Here's a feelings chart. All the different kind of feelings we may experience. Well, just some of them, right? Because there's so many, so many of them and so many different little, little differences with them as well. Some very similar, some very different. Joy, the blues, hope, gratitude, anger, love, fear, the giggles, <laughs> guts, worries. Empathy, the blast, <laughs> blah, <laughs> yeah, you get to see the invisible things today. Noticing invisible things will keep your feet on the ground, like gravity, literally. <laughs> Noticing invisible things will keep your feet on the ground. <laughs> Your head in the clouds can't hold us down. No, 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 no. Sky's the limit. <laughs> yeah, now there's a song playing in my head. Ain't nobody hold me down. Oh no. Yes, noticing invisible things will keep your feet on the ground. Your head in the clouds. Yes. Fly high. Float on. <laughs> oh, keep your feet on the ground. Your head in the clouds. Well. And your life. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Not just wonderful, but wonderful. Full of wonder for sure. <laughs> And look at all those invisible things on there. Chaos. Pizza. Oh, pizzas. I'm sorry. Pizzas. Math. Dark matter. Infinity. All of those existing around us, even though we don't see them. <laughs> I must say, too, pizzas is one of my favorite words as well. 
seeing all the invisible things all the time would probably be a little much. Yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Things can be overwhelming, right? But it's okay to focus on one or several at a time. Now that you know they are here, you can always find them. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of different invisible things on my page. Maybe we move on so we can relax a little bit. But it's okay to focus on one or several of them at a time. Now that you know they are here, you can always find them. If you remember to look with more than your eyes. Yes. Remember to look with more than your eyes. So many invisible things around us. <laughs> oh. All right. Before you go, though, please return your invisible, your invisible, invisible thing spotting glasses here. Well, I will take mine off. It has been a pleasure. And I'm placing them back. And next time I read the book, they will be right there. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in for this wonderful book. Yeah, I hope that it has um, left your soul, left your heart feeling better. And um, yeah, just given us some techniques as well to handle all the different feelings, all the different invisible things at play in our lives. Thank you so much for joining in. This one is written by Andy J. Pizza and Sophie Miller. And of course, we're reading it with permission of the publishers. Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Thank you so much for joining in. Oh, oh ha, ha. invisible things. Andy J. Peter, Safi Miller, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Join me on the other side of this short break when we're back with more story time. Hi, I'm Chaz, older brother of Braylon, and I'm homeschooled in Nagadish, Louisiana. And you're tuning in with Miss Story Time with Mr. Lamada. Story time with Mr. Lamada. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Would never get old, never will. Um, thank you so much for joining in Story Time today. Glad you are here with us wherever you're joining us from, whether you're joining us live right now or indeed joining us later on for the recordings. Thank you for being here with us on Story Time. I hope that this wonderful book, social emotional um, uh, learning book right here, and indeed helping us see all those invisible things, some that make us feel good, some that make us feel a little bit weird, a little bit in between and of course some of the big feelings that we may have too hopefully we have some ways to cope with those whether it's taking a deep breath or indeed just noting them noting them noticing them and um yeah just naming them hopefully that also helps us navigate remember this so much and i hope that this book ends up on your shelf from the library or somewhere else and i hope that you continue to explore all these different feelings that are talked about in here and continue to use the techniques as well to take care of yourself thank you so much for joining in story time absolutely appreciate you and appreciate andy j pizza and of course uh sophie miller and chronicle books of san francisco of course chronicle books sharing so many wonderful books with us here on story time so so grateful yes gratitude was one of the feelings in there and one of the invisible things and it is exactly what i feel right now right here for chronicle books of san francisco thank you so much for joining us on story time thank you for being here one more time let us see who was with us so we can say hello before we go away thank you kathy for keeping us company this morning out there in Ohio. Thank you, Ari and Megan, for joining in later on. Well, we hope that you're having fun, whatever you're up to right now. And of course, looking forward to you joining in later on. Thank you so much for joining in for the Invisible Things. This has been our story for today, but please do not forget, we're back. Story time is back again tomorrow. Yes, all powers be, all everything aligning. We're back tomorrow with another exciting book, another favorite here on Story Time another one that just helps us with healing and resiliency and taking care of ourselves and this one is called Marin and her very bright star a story of resilience written by our very good friend here at Storytime Laurie Mayer and it is illustrated by Ethan Ruffler thank you so much of course to the Rise Project as well for helping this book 
come to life. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Please join me tomorrow for Marin and her very bright star, a story of resiliency. Thank you for being here with us. I hope that the invisible things today make a little bit more sense and that you're able to ground and connect, yes, and um, keep on moving. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. Please have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. And I hope that, yes, everything that you do makes you feel good. Or indeed, if it doesn't, I hope that those awful feelings pass by really quickly. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. This has been Storytime for today. This has been Storytime on this beautiful Wednesday morning. I hope that it is indeed beautiful for you wherever you are and whatever you're up to. Remember to check the weather if you can before you go on out so you know you're prepared. You know exactly what you need as you go out there. Thank you for being here with us on Storytime. Much love from me and I will see you again for another episode of Storytime. Much love. Bye-bye. <laughs>